Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with another video. Today's video is a lot different today. Here's your experience I had with God yesterday. I'm gonna pray a peaceful prayer, a prayer of knowledge and hope for someone today watching this video. Let's pray. Oh, my most heavenly Father, just come and I thank you, Jesus, for this day. Dear, forgive me time and the honor and the pleasure for giving me this gift to do the work that you called me to do, God. Thank you. God, I made, I don't deserve this, God, but yet you have shown me grace and love. The unchanged hands have been on me since I was born, God. You know my calling, you know I was born, you know my name. I'm here since I'm ahead. So I thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you for life. Thank you for my situations, God. Thank you for everything I've been through. Made me the man I am today. With all my mistakes, again, go, God. So I thank you. I pray that this prayer helps one today. It's just not prayer. Yesterday, after we hooped at the Fox 6 o'clock, and let me tell you something. <laughs> I didn't expect what God was, was trying to test me on. We I said, I was going to Chick fil A. Get some food. I said, We're going to eat. He said, Hong Kong. I said, Wendy's. I said, nah, I don't want to know how calm I had earlier this week. And that's the crazy part. If we didn't go to Chick fil A that day, this wouldn't have happened. I'm glad I did go to Chick fil A. And when we got to Chick fil A, got the car, we were driving, we were talking, laughing it up. You know, friends do, man, have a good time in life, man. And let me tell you something. I expect what God put in front of me. But I always answered the call when God called me. I said, I got the car, the lady. She was out there. She was out there with a homeless sign. I, re I couldn't see the sign exactly what it said at that point in time. But I saw the homeless sign and she had the cart. She had a cart on. Don't sign cart on. And all I say is this. The Holy Spirit grabbed me and said, give her some food. And I said, I was led that moment that God led me to this moment where I can help someone. I want to help someone. I encourage someone to watch this video that if you can help somebody, if you get the money, you'll support to do a thing, even if a little bit, a little bit help somebody out. Don't think small things don't make people happy. And I said, I went in there, got a chicken sandwich, a waffle front, and drink. I got an extra drink. I, I don't know how, but I got an extra one. Because <laughs> the, the black girl gave me a drink, that was working, and the other lady gave me a drink. And I gave her food. She said, Thank you so much. I saw she went to cry. And I was walking back inside Chick fil A, everything. Please said thank you. I'm like, huh? I ain't think nobody was paying attention. I was minding my business. I did. I do deeds not to be noticed. If I do this to be able to tell somebody that God's calling you to do something, if He puts something right here for you to see how you react to it, that's the way God's saying it. That's your purpose. I want to talk about purpose today. That's what the video is about today. Let's get into it. When God calls you, there's a scripture in the Bible and put it up there for you guys in a second to, to tell you guys this. If God calls you to preach, pray, praise, dance, Christian rap, no matter what it is, if God calls you to do something, take the call. And that's the best feeling in the world to know that God picked you out of oh, a billion, million people in this world. He picked you. You have fallen short of glory. A lot of times in your life, you have fallen short in life that things have not been the way you want to go. And life has been horrible. You've been depressed. You've been anxiety. You have stress. You've been addiction. You've been drinking. You've been doing something to cope that pain that you have nobody to talk to sometimes. I feel like sometimes in life that God left me alone for a reason. He did. And the loneliness kicks in. That's my weakness at times. You know what? I conquered my fear, weakness of loneliness, and I took time to time with God. And that's why I want you guys to know that if if you have, if you have been separated from the world by God, if He puts you in another category, that's a good thing, because He has a purpose, calling in your life. He has something for you. You're not alone. You're not by yourself. There's people that will support you in your calling. The ones that support you, that's what God wants you to have in your life. The ones that despise you, don't like you, they try to tell you that's not what God calls you to do. Oh, you look stupid, silly. Don't say that. If God, if you had you and God have a conversation in that moment, that's what you and God have. That's it. There's no question. It's end but to God. There's no doubt in my mind that when God picks you, out of a lot of people in this world, there's a lot of people we live in this world with. 
but yet he chooses you every single time. And yet, I didn't answer the call at first. I thought it was a joke. I thought maybe God was playing around with me. He's like, oh God, stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me, God. You're playing games with me, God. Why don't you choose me? I'm a sinner. I've done wrong things in my life. I have not been the man that you, that you called me to be. But you still chose me after all my mistakes I've made. That's what God wants us to know today. He wants me to tell you this. That through your mistakes, through your circumstances, you're, build, you're building up. Be a stronger person than God. He's going to let you go through some things. You be a child of God. It ain't going to be an easy road. I'm going to tell you from my experiences. I've been through a lot of my life. And I, have, I am thankful for every moment I've been through. Because without the moments, I will not be here today. Talking to you guys. I won't be here talking to you guys. Because God will let things happen. So you can grow in Him. So you can depend on Him more. Be more vulnerable with God. So He can help you more. And build you up to the man, man calls you to be. So if somebody called, if He called you, take the call. Go run with it. You can help somebody with your, with your mistakes that you've made in your life. Let that be a message to someone so they don't have to make, don't make the same mistake. You can teach someone how not to do these things. The steps you took, you can help someone out that way. There's many ways you can help people. There's many ways. There's many ways you can help someone today. Not once. What's lost, you must know Jesus Christ to the person who is Savior. I want to give you some ways to help somebody. Because life's too short to be depending on other people for your happiness. God is the way truth in life. He's the Yahweh. He is not a man of myth or legend. People call, if you call somebody a goat, that's your personal preference. A goat is satanic, demonic. But some of the video. But guys, I want you guys to know this. God just spoke to me. You're not alone. He's right, by, he's right beside you. You're going to help you through your calling. I have to break out my shell and go out in public and pray for people, speak the word of God in front of a lot of people. I have to break my shell that anxiety that the devil try to put in my face when it comes time to do what God called me to do. The devil's going to try to put some of your face. The devil's going to try to put things in your way. But I'm here to tell you that God is by your side every minute, every hour, every second. Here's some ways I can give you that God showed me that he's by your side. Let's get to it. Here's the first way. Number one. He's going to lead you a different, to different people. But God showed me things to different people with that. Someone said, I can see as a preacher. I can see you preaching the word. Oh, that was powerful prayer. That was all. I didn't think that was really meaningful. The videos I did, I thought they didn't help people. But you know what? God spoke to me one day and saying this. What you're doing, you can help people. And someone spoke, spoke, someone spoke that to me. I thought that was crazy because the message I was posting on TikTok is the same message out here in the sermon that I watched. God is working with me to help the world. See, God will do the same thing for you. He will give you something to talk to the world about. The ones that the preacher can't reach. They're going to use prophets, people like us, regular people. We're, we're his people. He's going to use us any way we can. Number two. <laughs> What this way is awesome. You're gonna with prayer and asking God, what is what do you want me to do? Just pray. I say prayer in every video I did so far. Prayer will get you the answer that you need. To calling through prayer. God, are you calling me to do this work? God, are you calling me to be a preacher or a singer or a praise dancer? God, are you calling me to do this and that? And I, I couldn't tell you if God's called you. Like I said, multiple times again and again, take the calling. You will regret it. I haven't regretted it ever since. I love it because I can help people who need help. Even I need help sometimes. People help me. See, the, people don't become professionals at something. Just like, like I build a house. You mess up over and over again. It's like a, like a farmer. He grows a plant, but it doesn't grow. But he has to learn from a farmer, like his, like first his father. This is a scenario, guys. You can have a dad who teaches his son how to farm, but the dad gets sick and he has to farm on his own. And he's learning, but he's failing constantly. He's failing constantly, he doesn't know what he's doing. And when the time comes, he goes to dad, I need your help. What do I do? So dad tells him. He, more and more, he learns, he actually learning, and he's growing the plants the way they're supposed to grow, and they actually grow to be beautiful flowers. 
See, God wants us to ask for help with the calling he has given us. God gives us gift strength to do what you call me to do. Because the world's going to try to push you in what? Number three. You gotta ignore people that try to push you back from what God has planned for you. People will try to say, this ain't what God had for you. Or you're just crazy. You're delusional. You make no sense. You're praying. What does prayer do? God, why did all this happen to me? I'm a good man. Why I'm a good person? Why go do good things happen to me? What do bad things happen to good people? I come to tell you this. People will try to turn you away. Turn you sideways. Just break you off the path God called you to. It's like a boat. It's like, like a boxing match. See, you gotta stand your ground in a boxing ring. You gotta fight to the death just to survive. Just like Christian, just like religion. I'm not a religious guy, but when you're a child of God, you fight the ring every day. You fight the devil every single day. You fight the devil with with the word, with prayer, with worship, gospel. With the gospel, guys, I'm telling you. Win a ring every day. I'm telling you this, guys. Through everything you do, someone's gonna hate on you, so we're not gonna like you. Because it's not what you're not doing what they're doing. You're not under the you're not under a crew. You're not God, God put a call on you. I realize I'm different in so many ways. I I don't fit in a lot in this world. I can't even sit around some areas and have conversations with people because they don't feel right because that's not the crowd I'm meant to be around. So God will separate you from who you need to be around and from who you don't need to be around. So let God use you. You want to have some changes in life, you're gonna lose some friends. You talk about friends. He just associates. I learned that people I really thought was cool cool, they were just there for the for temporary time. The real one that got your back, the one that God put in your life to support your new mission, your dream that God has put on you. It's going to be tough. But we're going to get a KO, knock the devil out every time. Not going down. Not going down. Tell guys, I had to move locations for a little bit, guys. I'm going to pray. A prayer for doing this video. Hope you guys share this video with some people. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button. More videos coming out. And more story, stories that God has shown me that He has blessed me. Oh, my Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this time, God, that you give us, God. Together as one, as in communion. God, I just pray that you touch the one's soul today, that they know that you're there. Let them know that you're by your side. If they call, if you call them, they, they answer the call, they do what you call them. I just pray right now, Father, just touch the one heart today. I don't know that if you pick them, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be ready. And things will work in their favor. And things are going to be magical, amazing. They could change someone's life with a story, their testimony, whatever it is. Jesus, never. Ready.